Hi there. This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and this is an unlisted video, which is a dirty dozen. Now, this time I'm going to the dirty dozen in my art journal because I have plenty of backgrounds for cards. I don't need any more journal covers. I am not participating in any swaps until I get caught up with my mailing. So I am going to do the Dirty Dozen in my art journal. Yes, I am. And I think the first prompt that I'm going to work on is the first one that she gave. <laughs> and that will be, that will be, let's see, I think I need to, I need to turn my autofocus off. Let me do that. The first prompt that she gave was washi tape. But now I'm looking for my autofocus here. Camera settings. Let's get to it. Advanced autofocus. I really apologize for the beginning of these videos. For some reason or another, they are very shaky at the very beginning. I'm not sure what's causing that, but for some reason or another, they're very shaky. So washi tape does not stick down very well. The first prompt is washi tape. What shall I go for? I have two rolls of this. I think I'm going to use this. And let's see what I want to do here. Let's put my white paper on this. Like this. Figure out what I'm doing. And I've got white paper under here just to protect the, the pages. Okay. Washi tape. <sighs> Shall we glue it down? I think I will because I have an easy access to glue. She's asking if everybody's ready, ready, ready. Beth is ready. Mary's not ready yet. <laughs> I'm going to put ready. I'm going to put ready in there so that they can go on. Mary's ready. <laughs> Mary said she's ready. Even though this washi tape really frustrates me. So that's why I'm going to use it on a dirty dozen. She's pulling the next prompt. Yeah. If you got good washi tape, it's easy and clue. Add purple flowers. Oh, I don't have purple flowers. Well, that's frustrating me. Let's go for this washi tape. She's using a purple marker. There's my washi tape. Purple flowers. Um, I'm going to add purple flowers in metallic amethyst. And I'm just going to put my paint on here because I'll be taking this off anyway. So let's just grab a paintbrush. Monday. Really? Hmm. <laughs> she told me Friday at my post office. 
Aunt Beck said that she'd get a package on Monday. Aunt Beck took her beautiful envelopes to the post office today. I'm adding purple flowers with my paintbrush. I'm just going to paint them on here just very loosely. We've got all sorts of purple flowers on here. And I probably have too much paint. So let's put some... They haven't said ready, ready, ready yet. So I'm going to put some on my dictionary page here. Let's just continue on this beautiful dark page that I have here. Let's lighten it up a little. Purple and gold. Yeah. Aunt Beck's playing with her drawing flowers until somebody says they're ready. I'm ready, but we're not going to say so. <laughs> oh, Mary, tell us when you're ready. Yeah, but see, I can play until they, somebody else says they're ready. We'll put some little dry brush strokes in there. Yeah, Pe Beck says, says you can use anything you have. Let's wash out my brush. I've got clean water tonight, so... Okay, I'm back. I'm ready, ready, ready. I'm going to put ready, ready, ready in there. Come on. You are welcome, Kendra. Kendra was thanking me for the envelope or the postcard that I sent to her. Ready, 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 ready. They're talking about her box explosion, her explosion box. And I got to get caught up with her explosion box. I got very tired last night. Couldn't, couldn't make it through the night. I had to get some rest. Aunt Beck went grocery shopping tonight. Yeah. Aunt Beck saying, see that tape just really is, I'm going to use up all this tape and call it quits. I'm pretty sure I got this on sale and I can see why. It just doesn't tear right. Do I have my other, yeah, some, If you're having trouble with getting your washi tape out, if, off, if you take your palette knife and just kind of scrape at it until you get it all even, it's really st sticky. Aunt Becca's telling us what she got at the grocery store, all the spring, spring veggies and fruits. I will put a link. I will put a link to Aunt Beck's video in the description box below. <laughs> there. Of course, it doesn't tear when you want it to tear. Let's cut this. No, Beck, I don't know anything. I worked in my bank book this morning. It's getting done. It's getting done. There. Now, hopefully I can use that washi tape next time. Let's put that away. I'm ready, 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 Aunt Beck. Purple flowers. This is definitely a flower page. I have... 
Diet Squirt. Aunt Beck's cheating on her diet tomorrow night. Don't tell. Well, I'm waiting for her to call the next prompt, so I'm just going to draw around the center of my flowers while I'm waiting for her. Ready, 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 Aunt Beck. We're ready, ready, ready. Okay. Usually... Usually I'm the slow one, but usually I work on a great big 18 by 24 sheet of paper. So doing a dirty dozen in my journal is a different process for me. So we'll just work on the flowers until she calls the next prompt, I guess. She's calling the next prompt. I'm ready, ready, ready. Metallic circles. I just did metallic. What else do I have that's metallic? Ah, I got bronze. Shall we do some bronze? Bronze and amethyst? All right. We're going to do circles. So shall we just use the lid? We don't need a lot. I'll put them right in the center of my flowers. Please excuse the coughing in the other room. Oops, she dropped something. I had a laugh at Lucia the other day when I did my Friday Night Live. She dropped everything and she's... Uh, they called it craft lunch, craft lunch, craft lunch. You think that's enough? You know, I can't put a lot on here because this is a smaller page that I'm used to working on. This is really enough. Let's let's just keep going. <laughs> it's enough, Mary, but let's keep going. I'll probably have a real mess by the time I get done. And I've got way too much paint. More paint than I'll ever need. So maybe I should get out the dictionary again. And I should probably clean off this cap before I put it back on the, <laughs> on the bottle. <laughs> I'll probably never get it off again. I kind of like that. It's kind of pretty. Let's get out my dictionary. Yeah. This is where it's at. Let's see. Let's flip the page. Let's do this page. I got way too much paint. Way too much paint here. Let's just paint my dictionary page. Looks like I had amethyst on here before. I should say ready, 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 but I know she's still going, so I'm just going to paint out my dictionary page here with all this excess paint. There we go. That, got, that took care of that, didn't it? All right, don't put your paint in your diet squirt. <laughs> squirt. All right, we'll set that down to dry. Let's dry my, let's go ahead and dry my page. Oh, she's tossing into the sink, which means she's getting pretty done. Now, this is one that I want to have make sense. Usually when I do these, I'm doing them as background pages. But if this is not a background page, I'll want to make it make sense in my journal. And you can see I've got blobs of paint on here. And as I'm drying them, if I just take and blot that, it will dry a lot faster because I've removed that excess paint. 
And on a dirty dozen page, it really doesn't matter too much. Let's pull this back over a little more. Oh, that was fun. That was the third trunk. Washi tape, purple flowers, and metallic circle. Oh, let's type ready, ready, ready for her. She'll go, Mary, you're keeping up with us. Ready, ready, ready. She does not know I'm filming this. I'm filming it as an unlisted video. And then I will review it and cause it to go live. This is really fun. I can see some uh, spring spring uh, ephemera on here, like flowers or maybe something out of that Romantic Homes magazine. Mm -hmm. She used she used color shift paint. I just use my metallic bronze, but I like what's happening. I don't know how much of the bronze you can see in in here, but I do like what's going on. Okay. Howie's knocking at the door. Howie's her cat. <laughs> Howie wants in. Yeah, she let him in. Pretty soon he'll be up on the table helping her paint. I think Howie is the one that likes to sit in her lap. <laughs> All right. Next prompt. We're waiting. It says... Texture through a stencil. Well, here's a stencil. Now, what am I going to do for texture? I have to tell you, I don't know. Look, my texture page. Let me go get some. Texture paste. What did I do with the texture paste? It's here someplace. Texture paste. I had it in my hands earlier today. Uh, here it is. But that's the gray stuff. That's not what I want. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, what did I do with that texture paste? I don't like the gray stuff. I might have to settle for it. Let's grab some baby powder. I have to tell you, on my texture paste, the prompt is texture through a stencil. And I make my own uh, texture paste, but I've diluted this and it's really, and I put gray in it. Gray may not look bad, but it's really, uh, it, it's getting old and gunky. But I can't find the other. I need to clean this out and make some new, but I don't want to do that now. So I'm going to open this up, hopefully, open it up and squirt some, hopefully, some more baby powder in there and stir it up so it will be less gunky, less uh, gooey. It needs to be, I needed a certain thickness on here. So to go through the stencil, I got it to... Uh, too wet. 
Let's just stir. I think I got enough baby powder in there. I don't like the gray. I wonder if I, what would happen if I'd add some dark blue to that. Let's add some. Let's add some blue. Not dark blue, just plain blue. Let's make it a little more blue. And let's add more baby powder. <laughs> Got baby powder on my book. Make it smell real nice. She doesn't know that I'm creating my texture paste on the fly here. It's pretty gray yet. Let's add some more blue. I'll just have plenty, that's all. I might have to dump this all out and what, save what I can later and clean out this jar. Now it's a blue-gray. Let's add just a little more baby powder. Baby powder came from the dollar store. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I should probably put my earbuds on and find out where they are. Mud Podge, white paint, and baby powder. Only I changed my paint to gray. Let's just put a little through here. That is texture paste through a stencil. Texture through a stencil. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Oh, I like it. I might keep it. <laughs> Maybe this one will turn out as nice. I'm kind of hurrying because I know I had to make my own. Ooh, pretty good. Let's wipe off the bottom of my stencil. I got. She's drying hers. I'm still struggling with mine. No, I'm not ready yet, Aunt Becky. <laughs> Go without me. Oh, I'm liking it though. I'm really do I really do like it. I'll have to wash this stencil off pretty good. I getting it yucky on the bottom. That's what's causing it to give more texture than what I planned for. Let's put another one there. I'd like a little bit more blue, but at least it isn't the bad, bad gray. It's kind of a blue gray. Let's put one in here if I can. I'll have to clean this out make me some white. I decided I wanted to try to tin it one time and it turned gray on me. Let's put one up in here and then call it quits. She's drying hers. I really need to put this little stencil in water. Yeah. Let's wet my towel. Ah. 
I don't know what I did with my squirt bottle. Oh, she saw my Crooked Artist page. <laughs> but it was dedicated to you, Aunt Beck. My little Crooked Artist nursery rhyme was dedicated to Aunt Beck. I'm clean, putting wet and down that stencil. <laughs> she said she was listening to it while she was preparing for this. Got it messed up in there, but there'll be another prompt. Look at my hands. I'm not ready yet, Aunt Beck. I'm trying. This does dry fast. It does. It dries fast. I really do like mine so far. Kind of messy in there. A little. But there'll be another pot. Here comes Mary. Yeah, I've got to put ready, ready, ready in here. Close enough. There we go. Ready, ready, ready. She's pulling the next one. And curves. I'm going to add curves with my fine line paint applicator. The, pr the prompt is add curves. Now when you use the when you use the fine line paint applicator, you want to if you're using it in mid mid uh, mid there, she's going to pull another one. She's pulling another one. She's pulling another one, but I'm going to use my... Oh, I'm not going to use a Sharpie. The alternate is use a Sharpie. My leaves are curvy. My outlines of my flowers are curvy. Curvy. And while they're... While they're using their Sharpie, I'll dry this because this will have to dry. I'm adding curves with my fine line paint applicator, just so you know. And my leaves will be a little curvy. And see, that'll break up how messy it was in here. It's funny because Aunt Beck is talking the whole time and I'm talking while she's talking and it really like two of us are talking at the same time. I'm hearing her in my head and I'm trying to think what I want to say to you. She's adding yellow and pink and I'm trying to get the cap back on my paint applicator here. This is like a Chinese conversation oh yes I did yes I did I saw that where Curiosity Inc. got their silver play button how cool is that how cool is that We both watch Curiosity Inc., which is a Canadian guy who's kind of a picker, but he runs an antique store in Canada. So that's fun to watch. My white fine line paint applicator is my curved line. I'm pretty happy with this so far. I'll try to keep it in frame for you. This will be taken off. This is my palette over here. Of course, my hand is all gray. 
Now, I will probably schedule this video for tomorrow morning. I won't show it yet tonight. I'll, I put up a nursery rhyme. She's talking about the potter's house at Curiosity Inc. Aunt Beck is talking about his interview with the potter. I think this is going to be dry and there's a lot of texture on this page. So I'm going to type in ready, 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 Aunt Beck. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Zoe's playing with us tonight. That's cool. Well, while I'm waiting for them, I'm going to clean off my stencil. Ew. Ew. Look at this. Ew. Ew. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Ugh. Clean this stencil off the best I can. I should put it down. Let's put it down over here and just kind of slap it down on there. And I don't want to put water on the page, but I can clean the stencil off a little. Let's put some hand cleaner on my hands. Hands hand sanitizer on my hands. Ugh. Ucky, ucky, ucky. And my paper towels ran across the floor. Let me go pick them up. No. Oh. <laughs> kitty cats. They were, she's talking about the kitty cats playing at their house. Scott made breakfast for Aunt Beth this morning. He did the dishes for her, too. And then he had to go to work. What a guy. What a guy. Let's see. I'm going to put some more. I'm putting a hand sanitizer on this. She's talking about a, a man at Alti's who cut his finger. I'm way ahead of you tonight, ladies. Wow, has that happened? Because I'm not doing an 18 by 24 page. Well, it isn't the cleanest it's ever been, but it isn't yucky either. Well, it is kind of yucky. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. I'm cleaning my stencil while she's yelling. I don't know what she did. What did she do? Cut her hand or something. She's going to pull another prompt. She's going to pull another prompt. Yay. Get ready, Mary. She's going to pull another prompt. There, I cleaned my stencil pretty good. It's not, but it doesn't have all that goo on it either. So there we go. Now let's clean my hand a little. I, had, I need to go wash them. What happens is I use that hand sanitizer on my hand. She's something doing something to her arm, and she's yelling in my ear. <laughs> I'm ready, 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 Aunt Peck. I'm ready, ready, ready. Boy, it's it's fun doing a small page after doing an 18 by 24. I'm right up with them. I'm right up with you, Aunt Peck. I'm even cleaning my hands and cleaning my stencil. And 
we're on we're on prompt six. We're halfway through. She's going to make artist trading cards out of hers. Mine's just going to be a journal page. I'm ready, Aunt Beck. Next one. She says we can have alternates. Paint with a baby wipe. Well, I do have a baby wipe, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and paint with it. I've got a Huggies. How about some gold? This page needs gold. And let me tell you, I got enough gold for tomorrow night, but I don't know after that. Paint with a baby wipe. Well, let's just let's get some off of the let's baby wipe along the edge here. Ooh. Ooh. I am loving this. Yes, I am. See, I'm just taking the paint off of the the side of the jar here. Cause I'm I'm getting pretty well down to the I'm getting down there. I'll probably I'll have enough to do my reverse collage tomorrow night, but I'll have to open a new one. Ooh, I am loving this page. She says she's gonna get her dirty baby wipe dirtier. <laughs> Ooh, this is this is this is turning out. You know what it needs? It needs some green for March. Of course, there's nothing saying I can't add green, but we'll maybe add green toward the end of the page. Toward the end of the We'll see what the other prompts are. Oh, I'm, I'm loving it, Aunt Beck. I'm loving it. She can't hear me. I was going to go live, but I don't know. I kind of hesitate going live. If, if she wanted to do a hangout, we could do a hangout. But I just decided to do a unlisted. There. I think I'm ready, ready, ready. Let's flip this over so you can see the edge of the page there. Isn't that cool? All right, Aunt Beck, I'm ready, ready, ready. Let's type in ready, ready, ready. And then I'll dry it a little more. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> She'll be amazed that Mary's keeping up with her tonight. Let's clean my hands a little more. Ew. Yeah. Put gold fingers on my hands. Yuck. Right. When in doubt, add more, she says. I really do like mine. If I don't say so myself, I'm really liking how it's turning out. She'll probably give some dumb prompt and I'll mess it all up. She's drying hers. That's okay. You dry away, Aunt Beck. I'm cleaning my hands as best I can. I'll have to go scrub them with some lava soap. <laughs> I got Aunt Beck talking in my ear. I'm talking to you, and I got Aunt Beck talking in my ear, and it's like a Chinese conversation going on in my head. <laughs> That's what kind of makes it fun, though. All right. I'm loving mine. Three of us are ready. Let's clean off this jar a little. She's going to pull the next prompt. And it is... Oh. Use paint. Okay. 
The prompt is to use, the prompt is to paint with a skewer. And she's saying that you can use, she likes to use a skewer because you can make little teeny dots. And I do think I will use, hmm, I'm wanting to go for black or dark blue or maybe a dark green. What do I have for dark green? Uh, <laughs> I have to get up. My paint's across the room. Let me go get a dark green. I'm thinking a dark green would be pretty. Dark green. Dark green. What's this? This is leaf green. And I have, uh, what else do I have? What's this? It's way at the bottom. That's because I don't use green a whole lot. I'm not a green. What is that? Ultra blue. We don't want ultra blue. What's this? I see that's cobalt blue. I seem to I seem to have the well, you know, it doesn't have to be a dark green. It's just what's in my head is dark green. Dark green. I'm looking for dark green. I don't know if I got dark green. What's this? Black. Blue. What's this? Blue again. Well, you know, I'm going to go with this. That means I need to put dark green on my shopping list. Let's hurry up and paint with the skewer. She said, you may hate me, this one. That was Aunt Beck's prompt, was paint with the skewer. And I put my phone way underneath of the shelf there so I wouldn't get it all dirty while I'm working. Let's shake this up and... I guess we're going to pour a little out on my palette here. Woo! That was a little all right. Be getting the dictionary out for that. Okay, we're going to paint with the point of it first. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look what I can do here. Look at this. We'll make some leaves. How did I do that? Like this? Only let's let's shape them out a little. Paint with the yeah. Let's make some leaves here. See, so come down this way and pull it out that way, and pull it out this way. Oh, you bet we're up for it, Aunt Beck. She said she. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done a prompt session in a while. Ooh, I'm liking this. Let's see, I want to pull it down. Pull it down and pull it out. That's almost too much. Let's 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 scribble in it. Can we scribble in these? Kind of liking that. Let's pull it down. Let's pull it down this way if I can. Pull it down and across. Kind of messing it up. Where's my <laughs> baby wipe? <laughs> I'm back to painting with the baby wipe, but that's too much. It's ruining my gold. She's making little swirls. I just wanted some green in there, but I'm not liking it. Let's let's put some gold over it. <laughs> With the skewer. With the skewer, let's put gold over it. Oh, I'm liking that now. But that's awfully thick. We need the other side. Yeah, let's put some paint on there and 
I am painting with the skewer. Really, honest, I am. I didn't like all that green, so I'm going back over it with gold. And I'm going to leave the other side of the page alone. Because uh, I don't like what's happening there. The gold fixes it, though. Gold fixes everything. She's about ready. I'm leaving the other side alone. I've got, I've got paint on it. You witnessed, witnessed it. I painted with my skewer here. You saw it. I'm going to go ahead and dry it. Let's see. But no, let's put that paint off on my dictionary page. Maybe I'll paint with this, the skewer on this page. How about that? Didn't say we had to do it on the same. <laughs> Did it? Oh, I don't. I don't like that. Let's go back in with the brush. Where's my brush? Let's go back in with my brush. Let's use up this paint. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to ruin this page with a green. Green isn't my favorite color at all. She's ready to pull another prompt. She's drying hers. I'm going to dry mine. Yeah. This is getting covered up. I ruined it. I liked it, but I didn't like this. I liked it until we did the skewer stuff. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Let's dry this and <laughs> She's talking about chopsticks now. I don't eat with chopsticks either. I'm not. I'm not that good. <laughs> Shall I type in ready, ready, ready? Let's type in. She's still drying hers. Let's type in ready, ready, ready. R-E-A-D-Y. Whoops, that's not ready. R-E-A-D-Y. Ready, ready, ready. There we go. She, she, she's asking me how big of a piece I'm working on. <laughs> I'm working in my art journal tonight. So it's much smaller. So I'm ready right on time i'm up with you guys uh. prompt is add dots add dots is the next prompt add dots is the next prompt. You're not rushing me tonight. I'm having fun. So add dots. I'm going to add these black dots with my black fine line paint applicator. Oh. Decky and Scott are selling some land, hoping that it'd get sold. She's doing three dots. I'm just putting dots around my flowers. Uh, let's put some dots in here because I don't like I don't like this side of the page. 
Let's dot this whole background up here. Dot, 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 dot. She's just putting three dots. I can't see what she's doing because I'm busy online. But that that pushes that background into the background, that horrible background. I'm much happier with it. Dot, 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 dot. I'm really kind of liking this. I am liking it. I'm back to liking it. The black dots help. The black dots helped it, Aunt Beck. Dots helped. Let's dry those. I think she's using a marker or something. So I'll need to dry mine. Dots. But it was prompt eight. Where's my heat gun? No, it's here. <laughs> oh, you know, she's asking me. <sighs> yeah. When I signed off of my session today, it did not take me back. It didn't take me any place. I wasn't sure. I didn't see. I couldn't even see if it was done. So I just waited for a while and and uh, then just went back to my video monitor page. Oops, I got too much. Let's back up a little. W-H-I-L-E. Use scraps from your last project. Well, my last project was my... My last project was my nursery line. The prompt is use scraps from your last project. But I wrote a nursery line. So I'm going to go back to my bank page that I did this morning. And what do, do I have scraps left from my bank page? I do, but I have to go up, cross over to the room to get them. <laughs> You're making me jump up too many times. Here's a scrap. Let's see, but that's not what I want. Use scraps from your last project. Here. Here. Here, I was going to put these, I'm going to make a, a bank book page of business cards, but we'll use these as business cards. <sighs> use scraps from your last project. So I'm just going to cut these out as business cards. And we've got a, we've got It looks like a certain Dunmore and Moose Lake Road in effect. Trains leaving Dunmore as follows. So it looks like a railroad schedule. I'm talking louder because I'm talking over Becky. She... <laughs> I'm talking over Becky. I got her talking in my ear. I got a Chinese conversation going on in my head. 
<laughs> Got his conversation going on in my head. It's driving me nuts. Let's see. H. Robinson, General Auctioneers. These are going to be business cards, so I kind of want them to go this way. And then I guess I'll I'll draw around them squares like Dr. W. M. Van Dorn. Scranton. That looks like almost a railroad schedule, but this one is C.A. Battenberg, Attorney at Law. That goes there. So what else do I have here? Oh, I got the giraffe. <laughs> Shall I put the giraffe on there? Ooh, I put my hand in that paint. Eek. So what? Shall I put the giraffe on there? I'm going to save him for another day. He doesn't really go. So I need some glue. <laughs> it's so funny because Becky's talking in my ear. And it's just like a converse, Chinese conversation. I'm talking to you and Becky's talking in my ear. And it's like a Chinese conversation going on in my head. <laughs> it's funny. All right. Ready for the next one? No. I'm just gluing mine down. That's not. She's going, is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Of course, I was lagging. Good. Somebody's still, somebody's still gluing down stuff. So and Mary's not ready yet. Because that, that black isn't it's with a card. She's saying that all the... She's talking in my head. <laughs> She's saying that in her video in the description box, there are uh, there are all of the prompts. And if you don't like them, she's going to put alternates in it. <laughs> There's a Chinese conversation going on in my head. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to make lines. Make lines with a card. Was that it? I'm just going to make lines. And I do think, I do think I'll make them black. I'm going to put some black out on my palette here. If I can get some ew, black out. And we'll use my Visa card here that's not mine. She's going to do the lines with the card too. So I'm going to do my lines as business cards here. Business cards. Kind of hard. I think I'll just do it this way, though. This will be a newspaper column, I guess. Ooh, that's kind of thick. Oh, well. That's the way it went. That's what it wanted to do. <laughs> it's really funny listening to her in my head. <laughs> she did something. She said, ouch. Ew, I keep putting my hands in that paint. Make lines with a card, and I'm just going to do them around these these business card people here. Uh, 
make lines with a card. I need more. I need more right in here. Right? Right. I kind of like that. I do kind of like it. I don't know. It's It went from being a spring floral to I don't know what. Let's wipe off my card. Okay, let's dry it. Maybe I can do some pretty flowers around it. <laughs> I think that was prop 10 or 9, 9 or 10. I think that was prop 10. She'll say in a minute. She's looking with her card. She's going to make ATCs out of hers. And she said that the prompts will be in the description box of her video with all the alternates if you want to do a dirty dozen. And I'm not going to put them in my video. I'm going to put the link to her video. And if you want the prompts, you'll have to go to her video to get them. Because I'm playing along with her. She's going to call hers good enough. I'll say ready, ready, ready here. Ready, ready, ready. Mary's ready, ready, ready. I'm up with you, Aunt Beck. I'm up with you. I'm going to dry it a little more while I'm waiting for her to get the next song. You know, I probably should... See where I'm if I got the little live button. Yeah, I do. I don't want my phone to fall off on the floor. And the heat gun cord. Mary is ready, ready, ready. She's drying. I'm drying while she's drying. I hope the next one is like do a silhouette or something. <laughs> I want some I want some decoration in here. I don't like this. But while I'm waiting for them, let's see, not my calligrapher pen. Maybe this don't tell. I'm gonna add my own rebellious little prompt in here of some leaves. She's calling another prompt. <laughs> Is Janet being stubborn, she said? She's pulling another prompt. She's pulling prompt 10. It says, stamp with a household item. Ew. <sighs> a household item. Well, I got old perlers. What did I do with her? Let me go get a household item. Stamp with a household item, she says. I need a household item. As if I don't have enough household items in here. What do I have? I've got a bunch of scrap paper. I've got a lid. A lid. I've got a... Uh, it's all circles. I'd like something a little different this time. What do I have in here that isn't circular? I'm going to try this. I don't know how it will work. But I don't, if it doesn't work, I'll use the lid. What I have... 
what I have is this pin that my pins came in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp there, maybe here, here. You know, I feel like cutting it because I don't want it. I don't want it, or I could just. I could just stamp a little at a time. Stamp there, there, and there. And I'm going to use, oh, help. I really don't want to do more to this page. Because it's just going to mess up. I want to stop. <laughs> well, I could stamp with gold. But now, let's stamp with yellow and see what happens. Stamp with a household item. And I'm going to wash off my brush. Yeah, my brush is yucky. There. Let's just paint. Let's just paint a little of this right across here. See, I'm afraid that if I get too much on here, this is such a small area that it's really going to convolute it. Let's stamp here. Yeah, I'm not liking it. But it's the prompt, so let's stamp up here. And one more time. I'm wanting to bring those flowers out a little bit more. I think that was prompt 10. You can see that I'm at least trying it. I'm going to call that quits because if I get too much more on here, see, it's messing it up. It's messing it up, Beck. <laughs> she can't hear me. We'll go ahead and dry it. I'm going to put ready, ready, ready. You can't see my phone. I don't want you to, I don't want to show her video because she doesn't know I'm doing this. Ready, ready, ready. Somebody's asking her for Trader Joe bags. I don't think we have a Trader Joe near us. That didn't show up very well, but that's okay. I don't need any more. I don't need any more on this page, Aunt Beth. I, I liked it before I put on that green paint. All right. All right, she said. My heat gun's all messed up with my earbuds. Let's sneak in and sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. Chew! Chew! Excuse me. I'm going to see if I can enhance these. I'm going to chew. It must be that baby powder that's making me sneeze. Can baby powder make you sneeze? Mary's ready. <laughs> she, she's yelling because she knows I'm talking.
I need to um, adjust these lines. I don't like those lines at all. All right. <laughs> She's one. Prompt 11. Doodle. Good. Let's get rid of this black line. Let's doodle with the white line again. The white fine liner. Doodle. Yes, let's doodle. Let's get rid of this black. Cause it's, ew, it's messing everything up. <laughs> three giving three cats a bath. That would make a nice nursery rhyme, Aunt Beck. I sent my kitty cats out to play. And every day they came in and I had to give three kitty cats a bath. She's using white. She's using her her white pinpoint Secura. I'm using my white fine line paint applicator. It's funny because she's talking. <laughs> she said Mary's already pulled out her fine liner. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna laugh. Lo. <laughs> You guessed it, Aunt Beck. Oh, it said, wait a minute. You guessed it, Aunt Beck. Now let's see if I can talk again. I pulled out my white fine line paint applicator. I'm lagging again. I'm lagging again. I got to get the little red dot. Every time I put my foot down, it goes back to the white dot. Trouble with using the fine line paint applicator. I had a laugh because she said, I'll bet Mary pulled out her white fi her fine line ap paint applicator. And that's exactly what I've done. Because this needs help. That's prompt 11, I believe. So we only got one more prompt. Aunt Beck said she's doodling. She said she'd check chat in a minute. I'm kind of happy with this uh, now that I got rid of those horrible black lines. You, you, you know they're still there. Maybe I'll do more white lines around the business cards. White lines around the business cards. Boy, I sneezed and now I my nose is tickling me. <laughs> Boy, whatever the next one is, I hope it's something that I can work around all this paint. She said they're going to get more rain tomorrow. We had a lot of snow. Yeah, she said it was cold. We got a dusting of snow, but it, the snow's not melting. It's really cold out. Ugh. 
Well, Aunt Vic, I don't know what the next prompt is. I think I'll wait until the next prompt and then I'll finish it off. Let's dry it while she's talking. She's using her Secura white pen touch pen. I've used those Secura white pen touches and they're nice pens. I know why she likes them. But I like my white fine liner just as well. I am liking this. I like it a lot better now that I push that black into the background. And the green doesn't show up as much either. And you can even see where I put those marks in there. She's talking about her trip. Scott is going to take her on a birthday trip to North Carolina to a place to go eat where she likes the sourdough breadsticks. And she's going to enjoy them. And she might get to go to Cheap Joe's, which I think would be really fun. <laughs> she said she's had too many carbs today. I really haven't done bad today. We had steak for supper tonight, so that was yummy. I eat too many sweets. All right. Did I put ready, ready, ready? Did I put ready? I'll put ready in here. Ready, 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 ready. <laughs> now they're talking about the Nerve River kitty cat. I'm just going to keep drying until she calls the next prompt. Last prompt. Right there. Da, 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 da. It is. Splatter. Uh-oh. I can't splatter. I can't splatter, Aunt Beck. Can I splatter? Very lightly. With any color. Oh, she's going to pull an alt. Good. Use something clean out of your trash can. <laughs> there's nothing clean in my trash can, Aunt Beck. Well, there's this goodie bag. This goodie holds the hair, hair bands. Those are goodie hair bands. That's halfway clean. I got a... I got a paper sack. Um, uh, what else do I have? Ew! What else is clean in here? I think I'll stop there. I think I'll stop there. Wait, what's this? I got a, a, a little bit of a receipt. That's a little clean. I got all these wet rags in there. All right, that's it. I'm not going any further. Let's see, but I do like, I like that goodie. And see, it's a, it's the hair band. They're called goodie bands. Take this staple out. Oh, I thought I had a staple remover. Oh, you should see my desk. I swear, I clean it off and, and it just gets messed up again and I've got a glue stick buried in there I'm looking for my staple remover there it is oh that's the stapler well let's I hate using the scissors to do this let's get my let's get my Tim Holt scissors they can take the abuse She's going to splatter. I'm not splattering. She wants to know what color. They're going to pick a color for her. I like the Goody Ouchless. And it kind of goes with the purple. 
and here I got a paper bag. You know, I could put that behind. Goody Outfit. I kind of like that. And then I think what I'll do is staple it. After I pulled that staple out, where am I going to put it, though? Like that. Let's tear this a little bit better. Goody. Oh, she dropped something. She's noisy tonight. Aunt Beck, you're noisy tonight. Really, it should go this way. Let's tear it. You know, and since we used washi tape as the first prompt, I'm going to go back to that black washi tape because it will go. It will go. So let's grab the stapler. Grab the stapler. If I'm talking loud, it's because Aunt Beck's talking in my ear. And we're at prompt 12, so I think I can just end this up. Let's see. Let's. We're going to staple this up a little higher, though. Like that. And do we want to... Yeah, let's... Let's tear it. You know, I could put it over, I could put it up there over the railroad schedule. I think I'll do that. And we're going to staple it in. So that was something clean out of my trash. I used a, ba a paper sack and a goodie bobby pin label top of the packaging and my room's a mess again you know i could put this in my feet could put that in my waste basket and pull it out again <laughs> all right but now i wanted to use this washi tape and uh oh you guys you can see my desk it's just there's no room for anything here there's no room <laughs> honestly it's horrible Let's go ahead and I was going to put that tape, that washi tape down here on this bag. We can put this stapler away. Because it really does go. And I really do like kind of maybe putting some more in here. Like in here. And in here over what over where I originally had it because I originally had washi tape on here so I'm going to go back and put it back on because I like it there I think right there and right down here I'm liking that And then I got it here. Now, let's, I'm thinking that I'm going to put this, oh, look at this mess I have here. Let's put some of this stuff away. My fine line paint applicator away. This paint will need to be put away. Put the scissors away. These scissors over here. Now she's probably going to go ahead and make ATCs. I have a feeling. But while she's doing that, I'm just going to kind of clean up around here. And let's go back in my mark making. Oh my goodness sakes. Put that paint away. Put the texture paste away and the baby powder away <laughs> put the glue away put this Elmer's glue away I don't know if I used that put the washi tape away I'm going to keep that out I think I'm going to tear this like this and I'll just throw this away I've got a dirty waste basket now. Everything in there is dirty. 
and yeah, it's a little cleaner on here. Please remove before use. Put that back on the, on the underside there. See how long that stays. So you can lift it up and still see the schedule under it. What I'm going to do is go back to my scrap page. I have a scrap page. It's probably forward. I have a scrap page. <laughs> Having the worst time finding things in this journal. I finally found my history page today. Here's my scrap page now. Here it is. It's really an ugly scrap page, but maybe we can maybe we can glue some. Maybe we could fix that a little. I'm just going to glue this in there as a scrap. Like that. Like that. Yeah, we're going to put it down there. And I'll be fixing it up so much that it will, all that gray will fall into the background. This is just a scrap page. There we go. And my glue stick. Oh my goodness. What a mess on my desk. Eyeglasses. My little memo book. History. You know, I should put this history in here. Now I know where my history page is. My history page is right next to these guys sketching. I really missed them this morning. And this is this is actually March 5th. I missed yesterday. So let's cut this out. March 5th. I missed today's. I'll have to go get today's. I don't think I read today's paper yet, and it's, what, 9 o'clock and after, probably. But we'll get this one in here, March 5. March 5. Right there, and we'll just glue, it'd help if I get my glue stick up. Uh, history page, 1964 World Heavyweight Boxing Champion, Tashis Clay, announced that his spiritual mentor, Elijah Muhammad, had given him the new name, Muhammad Ali. So we're going to write number five on there. Come on, where's my pens? We'll do that with this. Of course, we missed six. Today is seven. I'll put seven there. Okie dokie. There's my, I suppose I should sign and date this, or at least date it. Let's see. We'll not put pick, or it's a dirty dozen. Dirty dozen. And uh, let's see, today is March 7th, 2019, Aunt Bex Creations. And I should sign it here, I guess. There we go. That was fun, Aunt Beck. I enjoyed it. This video will go live tomorrow morning, like at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'll clean out my paintbrush here. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. Thank you for watching. And we spent almost an hour and a half doing this, but that's what makes it fun. Okay, well...
I will see you on the next page.